Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss another uh, subject matter of intellectual property right that is patent. So, under patent we will going to start with the definition. So, patent is a monopoly right granted to the inventor by the state or government for limited period of time. So, here limited period is 20 years. So, it is also we can say exclusive or monopoly right the person who has invented new thing which are useful to the society which have novelty also or which have some inventive step. So, it is this patent concept is species of intellectual property right which is genus in nature. So, this is special concept of intellectual property rights. So, we can say this right is not absolute in nature this is limited in character because it is given for the 20 years and after 20 years that invention or patent come to the public domain. So, after 20 years any person from public can use that patent we can take example of uh, this uh, ceiling fan or we can take example of any other uh, these, uh, these uh, invention which are existing in public. So, we can make that thing we, uh, whose patent is expired. So, another concern this, uh, this uh, feature of this patent is it is territorial in nature. So, this IP is we have to register if someone is registered this patent in India he has only territorial right in India he can file a case in India only, but if he want to protect his patent in USA or Pakistan he has to uh, this uh, registered his patent in Pakistan and USA also. So, that is uh, this uh, nature of this patent is territorial. Another thing is what is the objective of this patent? So, objective of patent is to increase the inventor for creating new thing for the society and it is based on the principle of quid pro quo that means something in return. So, if someone is working hard putting his labor and investing time and money for developing new thing and after so many research and development of particular company as well as individual. So, what should be reward for them? So, reward is monopoly right. So, in this one specific case Supreme Court of India in Vishwanath Prasad Radhesyam versus Hindustan metal industry specifically held or given the objective of this patent law that is to increase scientific research you can see here new technology and industrial progress. The main thing is encouragement and some reward must be given to that inventor. So, grant of exclusive privilege to own use and sell that uh, method or product patented. So, here process also there and product is also there that must be for limited period. It stimulates the new invention of commercial value the patent is granted only for the invention which are new useful and industrial applicable as we will also discuss the essentials of this patent uh, in that particular slide we will discuss the essentials, but before that the main focus is on how to increase the inventor uh, if there is no reward if there is no monopoly right no one will ready to go for his hard work this is the one theory of this uh, uh, this labor theory is also there which was given by the John Locke. So, th this is the objective of patent. Another concern is we have to differentiate between this discovery invention and inventive step you can also say the innovation also. So, in discovery discovery may be related to a something which is already existing in nature. So, we cannot say uh, we cannot say ki India is invented discovery of India is there discovery of USC there or discovery of some microorganism or fish or any uh, marine of uh, this living organism which is existing in sea or in any cave. So, we cannot say ki we have invented a new thing. 
but now we have to go for the invention. So, invention is a main thing or a new product or process here you, you can say product or process involving an inventive step. Some inventive step must be there for the invention and it must be capable of industrial application. Some step must be there which can be uh, different from copyright. No? Last time we have also uh, go through the industrial property and non industrial property. This specific, this uh, essential of patent differ it from the copyright. So, that is why patent is different from copyright because of this inventive step and capable of industrial application. So, here this Indian Patent Act also define inventive step here. Inventive step means feature of an invention that involves technical advances as compared to the existing knowledge. So, what you have go ahead to the knowledge which is already existing. So, there must be some technical advancement, some improvement over the already existing thing as compared to existing knowledge, the already existing thing here or having economic significance or both. So, there must be technical advancement or there must be some economic significance from that some utility must be there or some innovation must be there. So, it must be known obvious to the person skilled in art. For example, if someone is belong to engineering or I belong to law department, the new thing invented by the particular inventor or the engineer may be new to me, but the person who is existing engineering area may not be new to them. For example, one professor said to me ki he has invented a motor when the water tank on this roof become full there will uh, this light will be switch on. So, I told him there is no uh, new step new inventive step is there because there are so many motors nowadays where uh, these voice is there ki tank is full now tank is full now or we can say the motor is automatically switch off when uh, this uh, tank become full. So, the person who is expert in particular area he will decide that this is a non obvious or obvious invention. So, that is why Indian patent office has different patent expert which are related to the uh, electronics, electricals or we can say computer sciences or different fields there are different classes under that uh, the patent experts uh, or examiners are appointed by government of India for uh, this examining ki whether this new invention is uh, obvious or non obvious. So, here this Indian patent act also define new invention already invention is there essential so patent are also covered under this invention, but new invention means invention or technology which has not been anticipated by publication in any document. What it means? It should not be published when a particular invention is already published or we can say which is already in public domain. So, how it we can say that is new? It is not new it must it should not be in public domain it should not be anticipated that is why we are saying it should not be non obvious. So, that is important thing it should not be used in country or elsewhere in the world that is why a thing become a new. So, before the date of filing so date of filing is a very uh, major uh, thing for deciding if invention is new or not. So, that thing is here date of priority. Under date of priority when you are going to file and patent application we will discuss in registration of patent here there are two types of specifications provisional specification and complete specification. So, it this uh, patent registration is based on the first come first get. So, here date of priority started from the date of filing of patents. So, that is why here when you are going to file a patent application that invention should not be anticipated by publication in any document or used in throughout this world then you can get a patent on that particular invention otherwise or you have to search your invention in patent search a in this website if there is already patent then you cannot get patent on that particular things. You can take example of this pen there are so many patents in pen 
there are so many patents in mobile, there are so many patents in different areas. So, first we have to search and after that we will file a patent application with this uh, provisional specification and after within 12, uh, 12 months you have to file the complete specification with detail all the detail relating to that particular invention. So, it should not be fall in the public domain or it does not form part of state of an art which is prior knowledge. There should not be prior knowledge, there should not be uh, the thing must not be in public domain, it should not be anticipated in publication in any research paper or it should not be known to the journal public. So, that these factors will decide the new invention under this patent act. So, before we start this other things relating to patent, I want to tell you about brief historical background of this patent act 1970. Because today we are this going by the patent act 1970, but I want to here tell you about the first patent act, English patent act was passed in 1856. So, this was the English patent which was based on the English law in 9th 1856 first English patent act was passed and first patent in India was given to the George A. Dapning. So, this patent was granted to G. A. Dapning for the pankha pooling machine. At that time there was no ceiling fans, but some jhalars type were there, jhalars were there for which were work as a fans. The winds were there from the that particular uh, these jhalars and some person is yeah, was needed for that to pull that uh, some type of these clothes. So, for that particular purpose this dappening has invented one pankha pulling machine some type of uh, these mechanical work was there someone has to this hold it and rotate it for uh, that particular fan in 1856. So, first patent was granted for to this dappening for pankha pulling machine and after that so many amendments were made in this English patent act this uh, in from 1856 to uh, 1888 and next patent and design act was also passed in 1911. And now design was also included in that in 1911. So, after that uh, now one important thing was happen here India become independent in 1947 and same act was there from 1911 to 1969. So, after independence when the policy maker thinks ki the pharmaceutical products or medicines were the uh, we can say not cheaper as compared to other words. Here they, they have exorbitant prices in India for that our uh, these government of India thought about the how we can uh, this make the price of these medicine down. So, they have appointed first justice Bakshi take chan committee, first they have appointed this Bakshi take chan com committee and they have some recommended they have give, given some recommended recommended something and because of those recommended but government has changed now elections were there and again this another committee was this formed by the government of India that is called justice Ayangar committee. So, justice Ayangar committee has also recommended to repeal the provision relating to the product patent. So, as there are two types of this patent we will discuss in another slide. So, they have recommended why not we remove this product patent from this uh, this Indian patent act and because of that our these prices of medicines will lower down. So, we have repealed product patent from this uh, new act Indian patent act 1970. There was no provision for product patent in medicines, agrochemical sector. So, because of that now another phase was started from 1970 a new patent act was there, there was but that was without product patent and what was the effect of that from now 1970 to 1995. Now, another phase is there, we can divide these th three phases before uh, we can say independence from 1856 to we can say uh, 1947 and committees were there from 1947 to 
this 1970 and after that 1970 1995 why i am talking about this 1995 year because major thing was happen there was we can say uh, this wto comes into existence world trade organization so under wto there are number of article these agreements that was a package deal all the countries has to follow those uh, wto these provisions under this wto india was also founder member of wto we can say here and go under this this wto now uh, we can say when this wto came into existence in 1995 so there was three types of countries developed countries developing countries or under developing countries so developed countries has to follow these uh, wto these agreements from 1995 but developing country has to follow within 10 years that is 1995 plus 10 equal to 2005 so india has to follow or amend all intellectual property laws before 2005 so 10 years was granted for to india being a developing country for example south africa brazil or china or all these country who are developed at that time they are giving transition period of 10 years and after that under developing countries they don't have proper ip law they don't have r and d they have also given 20 years so we can say from 1995 plus 20 equal to 2015 so most of under developing countries got 20 years to amend their laws to enact their laws as per this wto trips agreement we can say this is a package deal this is one shoe fit for all policy was there which was according to me or according to jurist which was not justify how this uh, usa law is equal to the nepal or bhutan or bangladesh laws so there must be some there should be difference between laws of usa of developing country as compared to bangladesh being a developing uh, this under developing country so there must be some difference one law cannot be uniform law cannot be applicable to all the uh, countries irrespective of their development so but that was a package deal we can't say ki we can take good things from that tailor cutting math no we have to follow all the uh, agreements in toto irrespective of their advantages or disadvantages so india has changed all its laws uh, whether it is a trademark act or patent act or copyright act or design geographical indication of goods uh, every act was amended as per this wto trips agreement so our this uh, patent act was passed in 1970 and after this enforcement of this enactment of uh, world trade organization agreement in india we have to change this law as per uh, within 10 years so first phase was there here also we have amended our law first time patent amendment act in to, uh, 1999 so here we have changed three things in that first exclusive marketing right was granted for 5 years because the foreign companies or the mncs force us to give some relief till this patent act was granted so exclusive marketing right was granted to those uh, foreign companies whether it is a medicinal company or agrochemical co companies or any other companies so this act has amended in 1999 uh, which includes now exclusive marketing right till this product patent come into existence in 2005 so another provision was also inserted here mailbox provision so here that was also introduced for pharmaceutical sector or ag agrochemical sector these company can file some letter or some uh, this uh, mail till that time no one can file a patent relating to that so that was also there another concern is grant of compulsory licensing and price control for non working of emr so here if some exclusive marketing right is not granted or not working provision was also added in 1999 for compulsory licensing and price control for some medicinal or 
agrochemical sector also. So, this was the major amendment which was done in 1999 by Indian government. So, so much this agitation was there because uh, this, this was the Arthur Dunkel draft. So, many times we also this see this particular this draft. So, in India or so many countries throughout, throughout world this Dunkel was criticized for making this draft of this WTO which was based on GATT of 1948. So, uh, another amendment was made in 2002. So, this was done to make uniform term of patent. Now, before that in some countries patent was granted for 14 years, in some countries it is granted for 7 years. So, throughout now world as per WTO TRIPS agreement now throughout world everyone every country has to enforce uniform term of patent that is 20 years. Now, you can go to any country there will be 20 years time period is there for patent. So, now as we have also this told you about the this patent is territorial nature, but you have to file different application for uh, different this patent throughout in different countries. So, here in 2002 another thing was added or amended that is definition of invention and inventive step. Now, these are amended as per we can say this TRIPS agreement. So, this was another concern for us. Now, microorganism also covered under the patent table subject matter. This was very important thing because in 1980 US Supreme Court has also granted patent to the microorganism in, uh, in uh, this uh, diamond versus A. Chakravarti case. This was very important case where A. Chakravarti. A. Chakravarti was Indian scientist where he has invented a microorganism first time. Now, the question arises he whether the patent should be granted to the microorganism note. note. First time this is very important uh, this happening was there in 1980 when this patent was granted to the microorganism. So, here another concept another thing was added research exemptions under 107A. So, different this is a technical law here some thing was inserted or amended everything was changed in whatever was we were forced to change as per WTO TRIPS agreement. So, right of assignee was also defined or included as per article 28 of TRIPS. So, whatever was possible because we have only 10 years time. So, we changed we amended Indian Patent Act these three times within 10 years. So, this was the second time we amended our patent act. So, now third time this patent amendment act was this parliament has passed this act in 2005 which changed the history of Indian patent act. Now, I will tell you how this patent act was changed or what uh, the consequences are there relating to this patent act. The major thing was product patent as I told you in 1970 on the recommendation of justice Iyengar committee we removed this repeal provision relating to the product patent. So, now the main thing was there now because of this direction of WTO we are again entered into the pre 1970 era because now product patent are there we have no option of reverse engineering we have no option to make that goods the medicines or agrochemical goods which are already patented. So, from 1970 to 2005 our pharmaceutical uh, these industry was flourish. So, many these factories or companies are uh, were uh, established because uh, they have taken the benefit of these uh, uh, this uh, there, there was no uh, product patent. So, now product patent again come into uh, this uh, this particular act now no one can make the uh, this medicine which is already uh, of which patent is not expired. So, that is also now product patent introduced major amendment through in history of patent. So, now again this 
pre grant opposition initiated only after publication of patent application new provision was added now computer programs were excluded from section 3k of this patent now this computer programs are included under the copyright acts now there are two types source code and object code we will discuss in some another where uh, these infringements are there how but i want to tell you that computer programs are included in patent in usa but in india the computer programs are included in section 1314 of indian copyright act uh, for, uh, under this copyright so now they have also included the this significant enhancement on the therapeutic efficacy of the variant existing compound so here specific significant is there is improvement in something existing compound so something is already existing and you have improved or you have enhanced something that value of that thing that is also included in 1978 so these are the three major amendments which were made in patent act 1970 because of we have to compliance with the wto trips agreement so now what are the essentials of patent as we have uh, discussed the patent is a monopoly right granted to the inventor by the government of india or any government for limited period of time so here on which basis patent can be granted so patent can be granted for novelty new thing must be there unless and until new this invention is there no one can give you patent so this novelty should be given to that inventor if thing is new that we can say no no obviousness thing must be there second some type of utility must be there unless and until there is no utility there is no use of that particular invention we will do it in section 3 where it is clearly given inventions which are not patentable so as per bentham also jerby bentham utility in theory is there so utility must be there of something which help us in maximum welfare of maximum number of people so that will also include it under this patent and another major thing relating to patent is it must be capable of this industrial application some inventive step must be there we can say improvement must be there some type of enhancement must be there so it includes it must include inventive step in that particular invention which are comes under the uh, this new invention uh, uh, which uh, the definition of which is given in section 2 of indian patent act 1970 so these are the essential of patent on which we can take patent of particular invention so there are two types of patent the major thing is product patent and process patent why we are talking about these things as i told you earlier in 1970 act we removed this product patent relating to medicine or uh, agrochemical sector so this product patent now again inserted in 2005 so now there are two types of product when we are this patent when we are talking about end product what what will you made at end that is product for example you have made particular cold drink you have made particular we can say fan or mobile but during that from uh, starting to this end of product what process you have adopted that is a another concern that is called process patent either you can take product patent or process patent so when you taking the product patent no one can make that particular product patent but if there is in patent on process not on product so you can make that product by different ways for example different cold drinks are there different apps are there different other things are there so you can make an app by different channels so these two types are there which are important thing relating to this patent so validity we already told you it is 20 year now after wto trips agreement throughout the world this uniform protection is there of patent that is 20 years so i want to tell you about some interesting facts here what is the beauty of these patented things for example one person who was the habitual drunker 
who daily he was taking liquor or taking uh, this beer to his house so his wife was refusing for that or uh, making him irritate so he was basically welder in canada so he invented one ring pull can he made a ring pull can uh, which have utility and novelty was there otherwise there were glass bottles were there in which cold drink was there but because of this ring pull can he has so many companies approach him for uh, this taking the patent but he has not given or assign his patent to any company but he is saying ki i am taking this royalty from the licenses so he is giving license to coca cola at the rate of 1 1 by 10 of penny per can so if we see throughout this world how many these cans are sold by coca cola these are billions in number so his royalty we can't imagine this 1 lakh 40000 uk pounds per day he is receiving the royalty of 148000 uk pounds per day her name is this phrase so this is the beauty of patents you can take example of this uh, who has invented www world wide web the, this was invented by tin burner lee but he has not this take patent of this world and uh, world wide web but he is relinquish his this right or he is saying anyone can use this patent anyone can use this invention free of course so there are so many people we can take example of sabir bhatia also sabir bhatia an iit uh, pass out who has invented hotmail.com so you can take example of hotmail who which was invented by sabir bhatia so can you imagine which rate he has sold that hotmail to microsoft in 1990s he sold that for i think 600 this uh, million dollar i think yeah, 600 crores i don't know exact figure but in 1990s sabir bhatia sold first email that was called hotmail.com to microsoft at 600 crore rupees so see the beauty of patents see the beauty of invention why should not we increase these uh, these patents for copyright because now everything is commodify india or the other countries small countries for example japan korea uh, these germany or switzerland or singapore all these countries are developed countries irrespective of their natural resources they don't have natural resources they don't have population man force or we can say they don't have other things also but what they have they have good intellectual property rights in their countries so they are developed because more than 35% of their gdp are coming from royalties are coming from the uh, this uh, royalties from licensing or other trademarks or these patents so that's is the beauty if now india has also passed national intellectual property right policy in 2016 so we have also enhanced our this uh, global innovation index from 80 to now 40 so that is the effect of nipr policy which was we enacted in 2016 so you can take example of this also you can also take another example of amazon this company has a one click patent and from that one click patent this company earned billion of dollar because most of these e-commerce companies cannot uh, work without this one click so they have to take license from this uh, this amazon and they have to give the royalty fees to amazon on every click or whatever the contract is entered between amazon or these com- e-commerce companies so that is uh, we can say just by marrying one uh, this patent you can become billionaire or you can take example of these uh, blah blah car or we can say another so many apps are also there which are also covered under copyright or you can say they are taking this earning million or billions of dollar under this so now we can say after essentials the inventions which are not patentable so there are two special sections are there in indian patent act 
which deals with the inventions which cannot be get patent if they are falls under section 3 or section 4. So, under section 3 first point is there ki invention which is frivolous in nature or which anything contrary to well established natural law. So, very important thing some type of uh, what we can say there must be realistic approach must be there in patent. You cannot uh, talk about the frivolous thing which are not realistic or which are imaginary. So, there must be some realistic thing output or utility must be there or it should not be contrary to well established natural principles. So, what we can say well established natural laws. So, here so many laws are there which for example, gravitational force or other things are there. So, which are well established natural law. So, uh, for action reaction uh, these principles are there laws are there. So, we should not make something which are this contrary to well established natural law or which should not be frivolous in nature. So, if you are saying something like that or making specification relating to that patent will not be granted to you. Second thing is the invention the primary or intended use or commercial exploitation of which could be contrary to public order. If something you made which are contrary to public order or morality for example, if you made a gambling machine, if you made a cloning machine, if you made a something which is against public order, if you made a uh, stealing machine from which a thief can use that for um, breaking the locks or other things that should not be patentable. So, or which uh, cause serious prejudice to the humans. For example, we can take example of cloning here, we can take example of something which is against the uh, these uh, humans or animals. For example, we have made a dolly sheep cloning was there, but cloning is not possible or we have make onco mouse uh, in uh, this I think uh, Oxford University. So, that was also against morality. Uh, now, there are issues relating to the GM food, BT brinjal, BT cotton all these things. So, there is question of morality in India also. So, although we are these changing or amending the DNA of particular crops, but whether these are moral or immoral this is a matter of concern for all of us. So, here these if that is prejudice to the plant life also health or to the environment. For example, this uh, Alfred Nobel invented the dynamite. So, because of dynamite so many people died in world war. So, at that world war he was regretted for his invention. For, for example, the person who invented the camera now I read in newspaper he was regretted he why he invented a camera because people are committing suicide just like they are taking selfie at such point from where they fell from uh, big buildings or come before the train it becomes uh, they become dead. So, when such type of things are there which are hazardous which are prejudice which are harmful to society or you are making such type of medicine by which a person can commit suicide such type of you have invented the machine or you are making such type of other things which are harmful to the plants harmful to this public or harmful to the environment that is not patentable under this clause B of section 3. Now, another major thing is mere discovery of scientific principle or the formulation of abstract theory or discovery of living non-living substance occurring in nature. Now, important thing is there for example, I tell you about this diamond versus A Chakravarti case. Diamond versus A Chakravarti. Now, he this scientist has invented microorganism. Now, living or non-living thing is now uh, what we can say comes under patent or not. Uh, for example, for plant different act is passed protection of plant variety and farmers right act, but for these things now under this biotechnology we can take example of Kiran Majumdar Shah. The, uh, this richest lady who is taking benefit of patents in biotechnology this bio uh, co biocom one Hyderabad based uh, this uh, company there which is taking benefit from patents of number of living and non living microorganism. So, just mere discovery is not patentable, 
but you have to create new thing. So, under this Diamond versus Jay Chakrabarti, the US Supreme Court also says about something which is created or invented under the sunlight. Whatever you are creating, whatever you are inventing under the sunlight is patentable. So, now the thing has been closed. You can invent anything, but it should not be fall under section 3 and section 4 of Indian patent that is all under this. So, another concern is section 3 D very important section mere discovery of new form of non substance. Non substance means it leads to discovery which does not result in enhancement of non efficacy. Efficacy means utility. So, there must be some enhancement if there is no enhancement of non efficacy of that substance or mere discovery of new property or new use of non substance. If new medicine is there you know which is already existing a medicine which is already existing, but you are going to file a patent for new use that patent will not grant it. So, new use not comes under that there must be new thing must be there the basic essential for this patent act is there. Very use of non process no machine no apparatus no unless such known process result in new product or new reactant. So, here we can also cite one here important case Noartis case is there very important case which want uh, which is also called evergreening of patent case evergreening of patent. So, under this Noartis case this Noartis company going to file this uh, some uh, drug according to them enhance the efficacy and they try to uh, go for the again this renewal of that patent for another 20 years. So, this cancer patient association filed a case before the controller of Kolkata for not giving the patent. So, case was also filed uh, in Supreme Court also appeal was also filed, but there was no patent was not granted again because under this clause section 3 D. So, Novartis is saying this section 3D is unconstitutional under this Evergreen patent case. So, this was a very important judgment given by the, the Supreme Court of India. We will discuss this infringement of patent in next lecture. So, here you can also see the clothes, salts or esters or all these things, the chemical uh, these isomers or these combination, it should not be given unless and until there is enhancement of efficacy, there is enhancement of some usefulness. So, another concern which is we can say if you have invented a new thing, but that is mere admixture of that. Admixture means you are making salt with sugar and added the water, whether it is a new invention? No, it is mixture or admixture of two or more substances. So, under this thing it is not patentable under section. 3. So, now again under section 3 f mere arrangement or rearrangement of things can we arrange cap uh, after this pen or can we arrange something which is already existing. So, mere arrangement or rearrangement will not covered under this duplication of known substance. I want to tell you one important example here this is arrangement or rearrangement thing this tires or this engine or this particular this uh, and things are arranged, but all are differently invented or all are in public domain. So, as per section these 3 f this is a jugad this is not patentable. The thing must be new before you there must be new uh, we can say these uh, invention must be there some utility must be there and with the major concern uh, some inventive step must be there which or we can say known obviousness must be there, it should not be obvious. This thing is obvious to every rural person. So, we cannot we say this is not patentable under section 3 f. So, after that another this concern is there under this method of agriculture or horticulture are not patentable. Why? So, if you made up some park or devour other persons for making a park, if you are making a uh, some farm on a particular uh, we can say on uh, this uh, mountain. So, no other person who has a agriculture farm or mountain can make those stairs type farming. So, method of agriculture or horticulture are excluded from 
uh, these patentable subject matter. Why? Because it it will be against the public policy also. No? So, another thing is process for medicinal, surgical, all these things, diagnostic or therapeutic or treatment of human beings, all these things, treatment of animals are not covered under section 3. Why? If some doctor is saying ki, I am the cutting the stomach for removing the some particular organ fr uh, from our uh, these stomach. So, can another doctor be debarred from that or some uh, dental doctor is saying ki, no one can open the mouth for operating that uh, these particular teeth. So, these are the things which are medicinal or which are surgical or which are curative. All uh, you can make take patent on these uh, uh, we can say these ultrasound machine, but you cannot make these patent on these type of processes by which operations are there. For example, cutting are there, operating are there, but you can take patent on x-ray machine, you can take patent on MRI or ultrasound machine, but these type of processes are debar from coming into the patentable subject matter. So, another thing is plants or animals are in whole or in part other than microbes. So, these are also not patentable, different act is there relating to plants or uh, these extent variety of plants in that particular thing, but under this patent act section 3 uh, are uh, debarring these subject matter from patenting. So, they also comes under that. So, mathematical or business methods or computer programs per se or algorithm are not patentable. Why I am saying this mathematical or business methods? Because mathematical formulas are in some public domain or from that we cannot, they are not comes under the patent. So, it depart the whole world from using that particular things mathematical formula for example, E equal to m c square or all these things whether these physics formula or mathematical formula they are not comes under that. So, this computer programs per se for example, so, uh, these hardware things will be covered under this uh, this patent, but software things are not comes under the patent. These software things are comes under the copyright. So, algorithm is not covered under this uh, section 3. So, another important concept literary, dramatic, musical, artistic or aesthetic creation. Aesthetic will be comes under design or literary, dramatic, musical you can see in the copyright act 1957. So, when these subject matters are specifically given in copyright, so they have no chances to cover it in these. Uh, this uh, patent act 1970. So, different act is there relating to that. So, they are also these television production or cinematograph movies, songs, lyrics, uh, these serials all these things are covered under the copyright act. So, another thing is mere scheme or method of performing mental act or method of playing games. So, if you are playing cards, if you are doing something uh, playing chess. So, scheme rule methods are not covered under patent. It may be covered under the copyright, it may be covered under any other thing, but they are not patentable methods. This, this, this is just like a process. So, method of playing games not covered under this patent, because this is a technical thing, medicinal um, things or this technological things are covered under this under patent act. So, these are the important things. So, presentation of information, for example, you are seeing now uh, this PowerPoint presentation which is made by me, it can be covered under the copyright, lecture delivered by me, uh, this presentation of information can be covered under the copyright, but just mere presentation of information is not covered under the uh, patent. So, this topography of integrated circuits. So, now we have already discussed under intellectual property rights intellectual property right is journal in nature, genus in nature, but there are species, species covered these copyright, this literary artistic work, uh, 
patent these uh, inventions and integrated circuits separate act is there semiconductor layout design act integrated circuit layout design act which uh, cover this topography of integrated circuit. So, separate act is passed under this uh, topography of integrated circuits. So, that is also covered under that. So, invention which affect traditional knowledge. So, traditional knowledge which is already in public domain are not covered under the this patent. So, this is aggregation or duplication known property of traditional known components. For example, I want to quote here this US uh, this scientist uh, taken patents on neem, haldi or uh, one another uh, this thing uh, which was traditional knowledge of India. So, how one person can get patent of traditional knowledge which is already in public domain. So, now in future government of India is made traditional knowledge library, digital library by which now we can go for the patent search, we can first go for the these traditional uh, this knowledge digital library by which these things are already existing in India or in our traditional knowledge we can see in Vedas or Prans or different this Ayurveda books of Chark or other um, persons. So, now we can say this traditional knowledge is also exempted under this patent act. So, this is very important section on which basis the patent application will be rejected or the person himself first go through the section 3 and section 4, he has to think ki whether this uh, his invention is covered under section 3 or section 4, then if it is not covered, then he should go for the registration. So, after that this is also arrangement or rearrangement of things. So, under this, this is a two inventions are there, we have arranged these two things. So, it is not patentable. So, section 4 another important concern for that invention relating to atomic energy not patentable. So, if we allow atomic energy under patent act then anyone can get patent on atomic energy and there is chances of misuse as we have already this discussed ki invention which are hazardous to the man to humans environment or we can say uh, these plants. So, in section 4 it specifically debar the inventions relating to the atomic energy under this Indian Patent Act 1970. So, it is specifically given no patent shall be granted in respect of invention relating to atomic energy within subsection of atomic energy act special act was passed in under section 20 and this atomic energy is barred as per Indian Patent Act section 4. So, we can go to this section 20 also, but lack of time just I am cover section 3 and 4 for that and after that we can also if some person got patent now, after that he can assign that patent either he sell for example, Sabir Bhatia sold his patent to Microsoft. He can also transmit uh, give license to that for example, this person given license this uh, Pfizer who has invented the ring pool can, he is giving license to the Coca Cola not sold this patent to the Coca Cola. So, there are two types of licenses there, we can say voluntary license, it is a contract between the parties, you can give license to anybody, second is statutory license, as per law you can give statutory license, third one is compulsory license. We will do another uh, specific uh, this uh, lecture on compulsory licensing which is exception under this uh, as per section 84 or 92 a specific provisions are there under Indian copyright Indian patent act relating to compulsory licensing which is exception to Indian patent act. So, assignment is also of two types legal or equitable you can give as per law also or uh, equitable on the basis of equity you can also transfer your uh, these patent to any other uh, person. Now, these two things are as per contracts of the parties by act of the parties license and assignment it can be given by act of parties, but transmission is assigned to the legal hires as per law. Why as per law? Because in transmission death of 
patent is there. So, death is there after death it will be assigned as per the law whether it is a uh, whatever personal law of that particular person is there legal hires will be entitled to get uh, this uh, this uh, patent in their name if that is not in public domain what i want to say that if 20 years is not expired then that patent can be granted to those persons so this is a transfer of patent and in next lecture we will do and the special lecture on compulsory licensing also or how infringement and remedies are there in under patent act. So, thank you very much for all of you. Thank you.